Hi guys! Good day! We're back in our tutorials. It's been some time. Thank you for waiting and uh, for now we'll be starting our structural tutorials. So hopefully um, those who, are, who will be watching this have already watched the basics of our uh, Revit architecture tutorials. Now in case you haven't watched them, so what I did is I have planned the um, our our lessons to be something that you can learn from a standalone point of view and um, progress from there. So, sa first lesson natin, pag-aaralan muna natin ngayon, um, working on a Revit structures um, standalone on its own. Hindi muna natin dadalin yung mga architectural uh, links or other links to incorporate it into the project. So, we'll, we'll be basically doing Revit structures from scratch. Alright? I hope you stay with me. And before we start it, let's do a little bit of an intro. Welcome po to my YouTube channel. This is BIM Smart with Aris Basa. Alright, we are now here. Um, lesson 1 of our Revit Structures. Thank you for tuning in and I hope you learn and enjoy learning as much as I enjoy teaching you. So, magsisimula tayo ngayon on a new um, project. New template. Let's go to uh, a structural template. Let's browse. Um, from US metric, let's get uh, structural uh, analysis default metric. Dito lang tayo. Okay, and uh, that would be a template file. Click open. But make sure that we are creating a new project. We're not creating a project template. It will mess up your your project if you, you create this um, project template. Don't let us create new project. And then click OK. So just a brief, briefer for all of those who are starting Revit from scratch, um, Revit is a software um, which is ideal for architects. There's an architecture tab where you can see all of the toolbars there. And of course you will have the systems which is for the MEP. And uh, what we will be studying here in Revit Structures is this tab. We'll be concentrating on the structure tab. We will touch uh, steel as well because these are structural steel but that will be in the later part of our tutorials. Well, let's go now to our structure tab. Okay, What you see here are the tools that we, we can use. You have beam, wall, uh, columns, floors, trusses, braces, slabs, wall, wall footings, isolated footings, and even rebars. Okay. So before we dig in into the project, you can see here, if you are familiar with AutoCAD, you know, you, you have the, the blank drawing. It's like the model space. So we call it the drawing space here in Revit. And you have those um, elevation targets by default, you know, that the north, south, west and east okay so by default ang, ang distance nyan between them is about 20 meters Let, let's verify measure between two references let's say from here to here okay so here I think the default here that we're using is about 50 meters so if you are creating a building which would be on a footprint of about 50 by 50 meters okay na to but if you will be doing a building which will be less, let's say 10 by 10 lang, you can adjust the elevation targets para hindi na masyadong malaki yung drawing space na makukonsume. Just like that, you can select that and you can move it 
that way. Okay? Just move it manually. Walang problema yan. Okay, so now we have around uh, Okay, about 30 meters Okay Let's look at what is the content of rivet structures And w when you're working on a rivet project You have what we call families So AutoCAD language, it is called the blocks Okay Let's uh go to your insert tab and go to load family just for me to show you what are the contents of the structural um, library here in Revit so under US metric we have here structural columns connections foundation framings rebars retaining walls stiffeners up to the trusses okay buksan lang natin yung isa Let's just go to structural columns. Under structural columns, you have concrete, light cage steel, precast concrete steel, and wood. Imagine how much, how much uh, uh, library you have in in Revit. Okay, so go to concrete. You have this by default. Kunin natin yung. Uh, we will not take anything from now. I'll, I'm just showing to you. So this is light cage steel, precast concrete. You see those amazing families that are already ready for you. You have steel, then your mga columns, etc. And you have the columns, steel columns as per the AISC. And of course wood, lumber, pine, okay. Columns pa lang yung pinag-uusapan natin doon. That's just structural column. You also have structural foundations. Struct by the way, structural connections is, uh, let's say, these are anchors, bevels, to connect all of those um, structural members. So, let's go back. Doon uh, sa foundations. Foundations, these are the very basic that we know is the rectangular footing. Nandiyan din yung mga pile cap. Meron ng rectangular footing with pile caps. You have a rectangular uh, pile cap. You have a triangular. You have an HP shape, steel pipe, slip foundation. And uh, structural framing, this is where your beams are. Go to uh, concrete you have the rectangular beam joist you know this joist with le ledges it's like a t-shaped beam precast concrete is available also and then it's just so many okay steel and then the new AISC And of course, wood will always be there. Okay? So, ano ang laman nung, nung library natin of, uh, of your Revit software? Um, sometimes, we will encounter problems, especially if you have installed a crack file, a crack software. Sometimes, the, the library are not included in it. So, that, that's really one problem when, when you load the... Uh, uh, a crack file in your computer so I, I highly recommend just to go for the student version anyway this is for free from Autodesk you'll get a one year license to use and learn the, the software and that would be complete it will be complete with all the libraries and you can even uh, do renderings online so let's go now to our uh, project We'll be uh, doing a very simple um, demonstration of how we, we can get those um, those uh, uh, elements in our Revit project. Just a sort of review for those uh, for you. Let's look at 
what is the project browser of uh, Revit we have the 3d views we have the plans available you have the 3d views you have the elevations if you look at the elevation east elevation you have a default level okay three meter level you have level one and level two for the sake of the exercise we'll create another level which will be the roof level and another level below the level one which is zero so that would be the bottom of the footing so copy lang natin yan. click copy and then just put it let's say about two meter deep okay so that will be the bottom of the footing let's name it let's okay let's name it top of footing minus two meters okay so the the units that we are using here is millimeters you can change it you can use meters as as you as you prefer okay just copy that and have another three meter okay so that would be our roof level let's make it roof we are talking about here is um, structural levels so ideally this will be the top of your footing and we will assume that the level one here which is zero will be the top of your um, ground slab and level two here which is three meters from zero will be your top of um, structural slab and the one uh, six meter above uh, zero is our roof slab okay so let's rename it properly roof ssl roof structural slab level level two ssl yes and level one ssl para malina okay So once you've done this, you go to the other elevation, north elevation, makikita nyo na nandun na rin, nakaset up na din yan. You have the south and you have the west and you don't have to repeat it over again. For those who have just started rivet, that's how it works. So now in the structural plans, um, you can see that this is blue and the other one is black and if you go to the browser here what we see is level 1 SSL fine and then yan, and level 2 SSL but we cannot see roof SSL and top of footing where do we get that if you have remembered and you remember your architectural rivet you go to your view and you go to your plan views and your structural plan nandun yung dalawa na yun. we haven't selected it so select both and you say ok so you can see them now here top of footing and your roof SSL and if you go now back to your elevation makikita mo na nag blue na lahat that means whatever you see here in the elevation is reflected in your structural plan now maybe you will ask me bakit merong level 1 analytical and level 2 analytical because we have uh, opened um, um, structural analytical template by default this is included so just to be not confused alisin na lang natin ito for now okay we will delete it we will use this uh, floor plan on the next uh, a series of uh, our structural structural tutorials okay Ayana. if you go to your 3d view what you can see is just basically your levels no now we are in Revit 2020 uh, Revit Autodesk uh, reintroduced the, the levels to be shown in the 3d view in in versions of 2018 below i think from 2014 to 2018 this has been removed in the 3d view but in earlier revit versions 
this was already there so somehow Autodesk revived it as it is useful you know so if you click that what you see here is what we call a, a reference plane the reference plane here is your level okay we'll touch more on reference planes in in some of our uh, quick rivet tips okay so since we are in the structural rivet here dito man natin mag focus so let's jump into creating something in in 3d in your 3d uh, um, view let's say structure tab we'll be creating it here so you can see how it happens let's start with uh, a column so before you do anything you have to make sure that the first click will be your top of footing and your second click will be your level one that 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 is fine okay and it is 3d snapping and let's select our um, rectangular column which is 300 by 450 or let's let's choose a bigger one 450 by 600 so on a, on a structural template by default you can see these families are already loaded no dito lang tayo sa vertical column so if you click there it is aligning you can see that line is helping you align it to its location okay now so what you have here in your view is a wireframe so you go to your hidden line or if you want to have it shaded it's up to you and now let's look at the front elevation you just using your your view cube right here makikita natin that uh, the column if you go here in the properties the the base level is in level 1 SSL and the top level is in level 2 SSL this is not what we really wanted we wanted uh, well actually this is okay but we want to if we want to have it go down to the top of footing we will have to um, add a base offset let's say in the base offset so nothing paabutin siya hanggang dun sa baba let's have a base offset of minus 2000 let's see what happens so there okay so it reaches the top of footing so we can do that for the others or can you match it no not possible so we'll have to do it one by one let's give it a minus 2000 and another one with a minus 2000 Okay, tatanong nyo, pwede bang i-copy na lang natin? Of course, we can copy it, you know. Go to our floor plan, uh, which is level 1 SSL. Okay, so you can see your columns right there. And you can select them, and you can just copy. Let's say you copy it uh, at a grid of 4,000. And another one or maybe both of them you copy them uh, 8,000 now yeah okay so you have those grids so can we mirror also using uh, when we are in the floor plan yes we can select this and we can say we can mirror let's say let's mirror mirror pick axis then pick axis which is the middle of this column so there you are and then let's look at the 3d view Nandiana. the 3d view looks like this because we place the view cube on on the front view but if you click on the isometric makikita natin na na siya. another question can we copy the columns to be placed on the other level because as you see as you see now if you go to your elevation our columns are located 
from the top of footing up to the uh, upper floor level 2 so if we select all of the columns and then we can just copy it and put it on the upper floor let's do that exercise go to our 3d view you can select one of the columns and you say select all instances visible in view or entire project doesn't matter and then you select copy to clipboard and then you paste it align to selected levels and then we'll align it to level 2 SSL click OK okay it became identical so let's undo Control Z paste it again align to selected level let's select level the roof SSL okay yeah so we already have placed it on the upper floor but the problem is you have a clash here because uh, we've, we've added uh, we've added uh, a base offset for this column so what we can do is we go to the elevation and then let's select these columns make sure that everything is selected go to your 3d view everything is selected and then we can remove the base offset just put zero there oh, wala na yan. so it goes right on top of the columns so again let's select the uh, let us select the uh, select all instances visible in view oops sorry let's go to our uh, elevation let's select all of these view again now what do we, we want to do now we want to change the type or the size of the columns on the upper floor we want them to be smaller you know just just for structural design purposes the columns on the upper floor can be less than the size of the column on the lower floor because it carries less weight you know so let's use um, the 300 by 450 yan makikita natin that it's already reduced Okay, so the default rules for it is it goes on the center by center. So, nandiyan na yung columns natin. Now, the next step is to place some uh, footings. So, to do that, let's go to our top of footing floor plan. Okay, makikita natin dyan yung mga columns. So, if you go to your structure tab, we have here what we call the isolated footing click on that and let's select um, okay that's enough 1800 by 1200 by 450 and then you have an option here it says at columns if you select at columns columns you select the columns there and you click finish and then let's look at the 3d view we've already placed the footings at the bottom of the columns okay so let's complete our uh, uh, basic structural um, tutorial for today with uh, some slabs okay let's go to our um, ground floor or level one let's create a slab here go to our slab structural foundation slab Make sure that it's in level 1 SSL. Height offset is 0. That's fine. And then we can just draw a rectangle from that point to that point. There. And you can click check. Tapos na. Let's go to the 3D. Ayun na yung structural slab natin. So can we copy? Of course. What type of slab is this? This is a 150mm foundation slab. We can very well use this for the upper floors. Let's copy again. Sort of exercise practicing your copy to clipboard. And paste. Align to selected levels. Let's select level 2 and the roof. Click OK. Ayan na. Andyan na yung slab natin. So, I think our engineers will agree with me Now, this can simply be uh, 
a building without beams because we can use our uh, slab as their sort of a, a supported slab okay so another lesson another topic is to add the um, to add the slab edge on this slab okay you click slab edge if you click this that slab edge will come out just click the edges of the ground slab basically your ground slab would be that slab edge so if you look underneath that looks like that okay we can cut a section let's go to our level floor level one floor plan let's cut a section to see how that looks then go to view oh, yeah. that's how it looks now let's just have it a little bit detailed and maybe you can have it shaded so makikita na natin yung slab edge natin right there all right so that concludes our first tutorial on our related structures thank you very much for staying with me and i hope you've learned something and promise we'll be learning more on the next tutorials thank you very much